to start to make his presence known, you know. And, and that's not, it's not a set of physical behaviors that you do, you know. It's about allowing that experience to present itself to you, right? Like you've often heard me ramble on about this too, is, you know, we don't have, uh, here's 10 steps, and once you've done the 10 steps, congratulations, you're meditating now, you know. Because, and I was thinking about this the other day too, because we don't find meditation. Meditation finds us. I watched uh, The Last Samurai. Tom Cruise? Very good movie. Um, and they were out looking after oh, Kasimoto, I think it was. And so one of them asked, one of the troops asked you know, Tom Cruise, how are we going to find them? And he says, we won't have to find them. They'll find us. You know? And one of the challenges sometimes, even last weekend, you know, um, was, okay, so how do I know I'm doing it, right, how, like Reiki, right, how, how do I know I'm doing this, right, or, or what's the step to, so then I know I'm doing it, right, and, and the same philosophy, the same concept applies to that too, is we don't find Reiki, the experience of Reiki finds us. Our job is to create an environment that's conducive to the experience of fill in the blanks presenting itself to us. And you know, for me, when I heard that, I actually first heard that statement from Eckhart Tolle. I was listening to one of his tapes, and he says, you know, we don't necessarily make meditation happening, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, put words in his mouth. We create a space where the experience of meditation can find and present itself to you and to you and to you and to you, right? And I think that's why there isn't one single path for everyone to follow, is it's your experience of what meditation is and your experience of what Reiki is. But maybe the same or maybe different than me. And our job, if not our experience, your job, our job, is to create an environment that's conducive to that and then wait. I had heard a really nice story from the voices in my head about that. So it's this warm summer day, and this fella, he's got a glass of lemonade, and he would really love some ice. Don't have any ice for the lemonade. Just, you know, just <clears throat> grab some ice for the lemonade. So uh, he doesn't have any ice in the freezer or anything. So his, his desire is he wants some ice. He wants ice. So he, he thinks, what's he going to do? So he, he finds a, an ice tray, right? You know, the ice cube tray, right? Now, he takes the ice cube tray. He still doesn't have, doesn't have ice, does he? He's, he's got a, a container. He's got a little compartment in it. But he doesn't have ice. So he looks at that. Well, so he puts some water, and he fills up the little compartments of this container, right? He still doesn't have ice, right? All he has now is a container, and there's a point to this story, and I'm sure it'll come to me before I'm done. You know, <laughs> and he, all he has now is a container with water in these little compartments. And, and he could look at that and go, hmm, I still don't have ice. No ice, right? He goes, well, because I should put it in the freezer. So he takes and he puts this tray with water in it in the freezer. Closes the door, opens it up. So looking nice. No, he, he doesn't have ice yet, does he? He's got all he has is a compartment a container with little compartments with water in it that's sitting in a freezer. He doesn't have ice. He's done all those steps and he still doesn't have ice. And he closes the door and he looks and he goes, Well, I don't know. Maybe he got the wrong water. So he dumps it out and he puts he had cold water in it first. Maybe I put warm water. So he puts warm water in. He puts the tray back in, closes the door, opens the door. There's no freaking ice. Right? I see other people have ice, but I don't have ice, right? Maybe it's a different container. So he throws that out, he gets, goes to Walmart, gets another container. His lemonade's pretty warm by now. You know, puts the water, puts it back in the freezer, opens the door, I still don't know what the hell am I doing wrong. So he goes over to Joe's place because he knows Joe's has ice, so he <coughs> must be doing something wrong because Joe has ice and he doesn't. So there must be something he's not doing right. So he goes over to Joe and, and uh, Joe says, well, yeah, you got lots of ice in the freezer. He says, well, how are you doing it? Because I, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing it right. Joe says, well, um, he says, you know, you, you have like the right container. You know? Yeah, it looks just like yours. Okay. He says, uh, you got water? Yeah, yeah, I says, well, water. Okay, well, not that. He says, well, let's see. Now, but, like, is your, is your fridge plugged in? Like, is the freezer working? Yeah, yeah, the freezer's working. He says, but I don't have ice. And Joe says, oh. He says, well, how, how long do you leave in the freezer? What? He says, well, well, how long do you leave the tray with water in the freezer? The guy goes, what? 
It says we have to leave the tray in the freezer for ice to be created. Oh, I thought I was doing everything I was supposed to, but I couldn't get ice. The moral of the story is we don't make ice. If you want ice cubes, you create an environment so that ice will present itself to you. And I know that sounds like a stupid example, but it's very accurate, right? So Buddy goes home, he puts the tray with water, and he closes the door and he waits, right? He's not supposed to wait. I don't know where the hell the ice is coming from, but I'm supposed to wait, right? Then he opens the door, and he doesn't say anything the first time, but then he waits some more. And then one time he opens the door and he can see a little skiff of ice in this water. Oh, there's smokes. Where did that come from kind of thing, right? But it's working. So he closes the door. He maintains the environment, right? And each time he opens the door, the water gets thicker, and all of a sudden he opens the door one door, one day or one moment, and there's ice in the tray. This journey, whether it be meditation, whether it be manifesting, whether it be Reiki, is about creating the environment that's conducive for the experience of meditation or Reiki to present itself to you. We don't make the ice. We create an environment and we hold that environment and wait. Because we don't have to go looking for them, they'll find us. We don't have to go looking <coughs> for meditation. As a matter of fact, if we go look for it, we won't find it. We create an environment and hold that space and wait. And the experience of what meditation is will find you. And I thought that's such a wonderful...